What's going on guys? Seth here, joined by my brother Chevy, co-host of Taste Luke Gaming. Check out our podcast link down below for gaming uh, shows every week. And today we are trying the Lota. I don't know how you say that. Let me know in the comments below if you know how to say it correctly. Korean company, Lota. Lota? Lot? Lot? Uh, best choice custard cream cake, um, which we will be trying today and hoping and praying that it's delicious. It says spongy soft cakes filled with rich custard cream. Delicious. So. Since 1989, that's very recent, given the history of uh, Korea. That makes sense to me though. Yeah, um, sure. Yeah, I didn't think about that until I read <laughs> that. I was like 80, 1989, oh yeah. Right, right, right. More recent stuff. Um, yeah, so uh, we have been trying snacks from Korea and we did one from China as well. Check those out. as. Uh, if, you, if you're curious about those, uh, I forgot, si, fu, fu, chi, si, chi, something, very, know. it's very interesting, check that out, um, but yeah, we're gonna try these, what do you think they're gonna be like, um, I mean, it looks like we got some kind of pastry breading on the outside, it says cream cake, so some kind of cream on the inside, it's mm -hmm. custard, so it's gonna be sweet, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be mildly sweet, um, creamy, uh, hopefully the breading on the outside is not stale and um, it looks like it's gonna be kind of firm but not flaky it might be soft I can't tell yeah they, they're really good about like add like showing a really beautiful picture on their packaging and then the inside has not looked the same ever so yeah yeah a couple of them have been closer than other ones but uh but yeah the packaging is definitely pretty far off which is kind of interesting because like you think about like a kit kat and most of the time when you open a kit kat it, it looks, like it looks exactly the same yeah. but then i watched somebody on youtube taste testing uh holiday reese's i think it was esmond gold and uh they look nothing like what the packaging looks like but they, they also make the seasonal so i feel like they just kind of fucking pop those things out I, I i saw someone make a joke where like when they don't sell the the christmas tree ones they just melt them into Easter egg shapes for Easter. So Probably. It's just free <laughs> yeah, he was talking about how like the seasonal ones taste better. There's more peanut butter per chocolate ratio. People say that too. And he said, so what you do is you buy a shitload of those every time the season starts. There's three of them, three different seasons that they happen, and then you yeah. buy enough to save them through the times that they're not out. That's interesting. Get a whole I, strategy. Another streamer. Because he said Reese's said were, the same were thing. like normal Reese's are shit compared. Yeah, when, that was very interesting. When holiday, when the the Christmas season was happening, the streamer I'm, I can't remember which one it was, but he was like, "Time to go stock up on Reese's trees." Yeah, so that's interesting. To the point as well, uh, Twinkies typically look like Twinkies, but off-brand Twinkies don't normally look like what it's they. True. Yeah, so Twinkie Hostess has got their their look down. Yeah. So and and, the, and their flavor. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, they got that flavor down for sure. All the flavors here are down for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, any thoughts? Um, I'm actually pretty hopeful because we've bought from this company before, and they make a it's it's cereal, but they call yeah. it a chip. That's uh, apple, apple flavored. Cereal. Ooh, it's delicious. It's good. Yeah. So everything we've had from this company so far has been really good. Yeah. I feel like they're like the the go to. Uh, well, I'm hoping so for sure because yeah. so far they're uh, they're 100. percent so. I mean, it literally says best choice with a shamrock because this is like luck of the Irish shit, I guess. It's also smart choice. Apparently, it's healthy. It That's does. What that means it right? does say right down here: no MSG, artificial coloring, or preservatives. So okay. these are gonna make me healthy. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a beach body after eating this. Define beach body. <laughs> Two pounds lighter than I am now. Because I might look like a seal afterwards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a beach body. Seals are on the beach. Oh, yeah. All right, let's uh, bust into it. Unless there's anything worth noting on the box. Now, I am hopeful on these because the brand. Yeah. Um, we've had good luck with those before. Jesus Christ. Something we have mentioned before is a lot of these snacks are individually wrapped, which I feel like is a more responsible way to give people snacks <laughs> as opposed to the... Uh, bags of candy we're used to getting and just chugging. For sure. I, uh... <laughs> I've, I've been just blown away with the packaging with the packaging. Now, uh... Oh God. The Washingtonian in me is looking at all the waste that it's creating, though. Mm -hmm. So... 
Oh, that's cute. It's like a little hockey puck. It is soft, which is great to see. It's soft. It's got kind of a cup shape to it. Got a little bit of a glaze on it. Yeah. So, it definitely looks like something that's shelf stable, but it is, this right here is such a good sign compared to some of the stuff we've tried. So. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's try it out. A little dry? Mm hmm A little bit. Big flavor in the bread. Shortcake. Oh, yeah. Big time. Um, the custard's good. Very mild. It is very mild. It's not like custard I'm used to, but it is good. Lingering flavor and not a bad way. Actually, it's, it, I hate using the word, but it's actually kind of lovely for what it is. It's a lovely flavor. Mm. It's a light, delicate, lovely flavor. They're really easy to eat. I already ate mine. It's gone. <laughs> so I just listen to you talk while eating it. So, um, while I'm behind the camera, just fucking being a pig. Um, <laughs> the breading is, uh, is dry, but not too dry. It's soft, kind of flaky, but not in a bad way, not in a stale way. The custard flavoring is very mild, but it has a good flavor to it. And so does the breading. Mm -hmm. The whole thing tastes good, but they have different flavors as well. So it's kind of nice. It's not like you're just eating like dry, plain bread with sweet stuff in the center. Like the whole thing has flavor. Yeah. And the outside kind of has a glaze. Very, very light. Mm -hmm. um, but it has a pleasant flavor. Like I could definitely eat another one of those. Um, yeah, they're really easy. Yeah, I just kind of chugged mine. <laughs> like I was like, <laughs> mm, okay. Um, you know, I, I appreciate that it's not super sweet. That's something I notice with like almost everything that we try from other countries is like it's a lot more mild, which I prefer because I'm not a big sweets guy, even though we keep trying fucking sweets. Um, yeah, they get me salty stuff this time. They're they're interesting um, because uh, they have they have plain flavor, but it's it's mild. It's really good, um, really light, which I think is almost a detriment to it because you can just keep eating those. Um, but good flavor. Um, again, that company Lot Lot Lota. Um, latte, uh, I almost feel like it's a lot. seem to make pretty good snacks. Now watch somebody who actually lives in South Korea go like, those are shit. Those are the worst ones we got around I here. Mean, different country, different taste buds. Yeah. So. Or maybe they're really good. Maybe that's the hostess of South Korea. I have no idea. Wouldn't that be interesting? Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Um, <clears throat> I agree. I, I, uh, also like, like the little Debbie that this whole time we've been talking, I still have a little bit of vanilla flavor in my mouth. Oh yeah, still it, it definitely lingers. It's still hanging out my mouth, and it's not an unpleasant flavor. So it also doesn't come off like too chemically, uh, chemically, there's chemically. A, yeah, there's a little bit of it there, but that's gonna happen with any. What do you mean? Like what kind of chemical? <clears throat> Just like unnatural. I don't know how to explain oh. it. When I uh, when I first took a bite, it was sweet, fake, and then back to sweet again. Oh, so there gotcha. was a moment there where I was like, mm, okay, but that's just me obviously being hyper attentive because we're trying something mm. and needing to talk about it so and review it you know <clears throat> um no no more or less than anything that you would get here though i mean for sure um this is pretty good though i'd probably get them again um but that's pretty much everything i've had from them so far um yeah i wonder if they have other flavor variants of those cakes because i'd be curious to see if they change the way the i'm assuming the shortcake on the outside because it tastes a lot like shortcake um to change like the flavor of that alongside the filling or if it's just always the same bread yeah so. i mean i can see them doing that definitely but uh really good light flavor uh definitely can sit there and just eat some of those um yeah there's only six in a box this time yeah so. lucky lucky <laughs> we're safe otherwise we might just be chugging more and more of these um best choice it says best choice that means it is always remember um yeah what would you grade it I give it a pretty strong B plus actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Um, I think, like most shelf stable stuff, um, I don't know how we're doing it, um, but it's a little dry. Mm -hmm. um, I think if it was uh, moist still, it would bump a day, because that's the only thing it's missing. I think because yeah. otherwise flavor is good. So. 
Yeah, it's interesting because they all do come out a little more dry, some more than others, obviously. Um, but that one wasn't so bad, but definitely, definitely, you know, still has some dryness to it. Um, I mean, some of the stuff we got around here is dry too, but then other ones aren't. So, but you know, uh, like to go back to like when we talk, talked about the Twinkie or even like anything else they make, like the, the Ho Ho's or Zingers or whatever, they're always moist. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be. It's probably just oil. Who knows? Probably, yeah, it's probably something disgusting yeah. that keeps it like that for sure. But the texture is definitely something that uh, maybe we're just, we prefer. Maybe True. maybe that's something we're used to and other places aren't. Yeah, and I'm not saying that necessarily to bash that as much as like mm. if I could elevate it, moisture. Elevate that best choice to ultimate choice. Yeah. So you gave it a B plus? Yes. I think I would also give it a B plus. Um, it's pretty good. Um, definitely not amazing, but enjoyable i liked it i didn't think there's anything negative about it um really good flavor really light which is nice because i'm pretty sensitive to sweets so if i eat too much sweets i feel like sick mm. so um not that i'm planning on just chugging a bunch of custards but uh but uh pretty good pretty good b plus easy easy b plus mm -hmm. um yeah so let us know in the comments what do you guys think of uh lota Tell me how to say it, please, in the comments. Uh, you're like, you're not going to say it. It's the T's pronounced this way. Um, best choice, custard. Uh, cream cakes. Have you had them? Have you not had them? If you haven't had them, do you want to try them? Do they look good? Do they sound good? Um, if you had had them, do you like them? Uh, do you not like them? What are some snacks you'd like to see us try in the future? Uh, this is my personal channel, so I just kind of do whatever, and we are trying uh, random snacks from around the world. So if you have a suggestion, let us know in the comments. Definitely open to everything. And if you're into video games, gaming, podcasts, check out Tasty Loot Gaming. It is my main channel, link down below. We do weekly shows. And yeah, stay tuned, subscribe if you like this, and uh, till the next episode, we will talk to you guys later. Peace.